There are two features we want to talk about here to bring out to you the way in which we've gotten the kind of responsiveness and flexibility we need in this instrumentation environment. So way off in Bill English's file, Bill is responsible for the design of all of our hardware. There's uh, an outline he made of the way the controllers work for the I.O. controlling. Now from this line to the right, the things that we added to a conventional SDS 940 system. And this is the swapping drum. It's got two buses working accessing to four 16K banks. We've taken advantage of that to put all of our control out here, a large 96 million character Bryant disk for giving backup storage for ourselves. Our two display systems, each of which drives six displays, and all of which are refreshed out of core, and the input controller, which samples the keyboards, the key sets, the mice of each station about 15 times a second, and our printer and the ARPA network coupling. Let me talk to you about the display systems, the other aspect of the things that we've built on here that are slightly unusual. All right, for that, I'd like to switch to Menlo Park and get a view from a camera there and actually looking at the hardware. So these are the units that develop the displays. The computer constructs it right on a small, high-resolution CRT, which you're focusing in on right now. And in fact, that's the CRT whose camera on the right, looking at it, is generating the text view that's being piped down here on my console. So as those are faded in and out between the two, you can just sort of compare them.